Hello, everyone. Welcome to the latest edition of Yes, We're Here. And today we are going to do something pretty special. We are going to play Yankees Trivia. We have two formidable contestants. Gentlemen, may you please introduce yourselves and tell us what you do. Jeff, you first. Uh, I am Jeff Quagliata. I am the research manager here at the Yes Network. Uh, my job is to get all the stats that uh, go on our air and my team uh, made up of, uh, I don't want to name too many people because I'll forget somebody, but uh, Glenn G and Grandy, uh, James Smythe, Seth Rothman, uh, Amanda Caputi, uh, Sam Hickey, and uh, Sean Sullivan are some of my crew. Um, we put together all of the stats that you hear during the game. We help out in the booth. We help the talent. We help write the shows. Uh, we do a little bit of everything. So Excellent. that's our job. Brian. I'm Brian Richards. I am the Senior Museum Curator for the Yankees. Uh, my main responsibility is preparing all the exhibits that you'll see in the Yankees Museum presented by Bank of America. So in doing that, not only do I get to hold and uh, get up close and personal with some really great artifacts, but I get to do lots of research too and uh, learn a lot of great stories along the way. I firmly believe that nobody has a great story like the New York Yankees and uh, I get to learn and share those stories in my job. So it's definitely something I enjoy doing. Well done, men, and I'm looking forward to this. Firstly, I'm going to outline the rules. Listen closely. We have 10 Yankee trivia questions. You have 10 seconds to answer. Whoever gets the correct answer first gets a single point. After the 10 questions are done, we will then move on to the lightning round. During that, you will have one minute to answer five rapid fire Yankees questions. Again, the first to answer correctly gets a point. The contestants the contestant with the most points at the end of the lightning round will be proclaimed winner. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, everybody ready? Question number one. Aaron Judge has hit three or more home runs in each of the last two postseasons. Who is the last Yankee to hit three or more home runs in consecutive postseasons? Start the clock. The last Yankee to hit three or more home runs in consecutive postseasons. Three, two, one. Buzzer. Mm. Reggie Jackson. Five wow. in 1977, four in 1978. No problem. No and I should have gone, gone with that, uh, that instinct that was saying, hey, Reggie. My mind automatically goes to something long ago. So I had to figure it had to be somebody a little bit more recent than that. <laughs> Yeah. How valiant, Brian. How valiant. We appreciate that. Very nice. He was closer than I. That's okay. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll check with the judges later to see if there's any points for close. It depends how the final score okay. looks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> right now I'm seeing them shake their heads. So no. Okay. Let's gear it up. <laughs> Question two. Luke Voigt changed his uniform number to number 59 this season. Prior to him, who was the last Yankee to wear number 59? These are not easy at all. Yeah. Not go easy. Five. I still think spring four, training number. Hmm. Three, two, one. Buzzer. Juan Rivera, 2002 03. Wow. Oh. Wow, guys. These are tough. Okay. These, these are tough. These are tough. Oh, <laughs> okay. This one's not the easiest either, but here we go. <laughs> Question three. Tito Martinez is one of three Yankees first basemen all time to hit a grand slam in the World Series. Who are the other two? This is not Moose Scourin was one of them. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to guess Lou Gehrig for the other. No. It wasn't Gehrig. Mm. One second. Oh, buzzer. The second. Well, Moose Scourin, 1956. Right. Joe Pepitone. Yes, Joe oh. Pepitone, 1964. Okay. That's right, against the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so our officials are keeping track. We'll see how that fares later. You did okay. get one of the two, okay? <laughs> Question four. Okay, this is a good one. Derek Jeter was the sixth overall pick in the 1992 draft. What 2009 World Championship teammate was also taken in the first round of that year? Nick Swisher. Nope. Wasn't Swish. Hmm. First round, 1992. Johnny Damon? Yes! Kansas City, yes. Mm -hmm. Check. 
Okay, well done. Well done. Yes, everyone's clapping off screen. Very well done. Nice. Okay. These are tough questions, Nancy. Yeah, wow. they are. They are. You, well, you know, I think we have to blame members of Jeff's research team, perhaps, but we'll they are, see. They are trying to. They are trying to stump the boss, and now uh, yeah. they're doing a great job. Could very well be. <laughs> We might have a little team meeting after the fact, huh? Okay, here we go. Number five, Derek Jeter is one of four Yankees shortstops to start the All-Star game. Who are the other three? Four Yankee shortstops to start the All-Star game. Who are the other three? Well, I would say Phil Rizzuto would be one. Yes. Bucky Dent? Uh, Dent? Yes. Gil McDougal. Uh, uh, nope. Hmm. Oh, buzzer time. I think you each got one there, so we'll have to see what happens. Sure. Phil Rizzuto, 1950 and 52. Bucky Dent, 1980 and 81. The third is Tony Kubek, 1961. Tony Kubek, sure. Mm -hmm. These are good. These Great are good. shortstop. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Question six. The Yankees acquired Jim Abbott from the Angels December the 6th of 1992. What future Gold Glove winning first baseman did the Yankees give up? in that trade. J.T. Snow. Excellent. <laughs> Just excellent. Very well, very well done. Question seven. The Yankees have had only two players in their history record 30-30 seasons. Can you name them? Bobby Bonds. And Alfonso Soriano. Excellent. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to see what happens when you each get one. I will, we will refer. I see them <laughs> nodding. OK, we will figure this out. Question eight, D.D. Gregorius hit two homers in game five of the 2017 ALDS versus Cleveland. D.D. hit two homers in game five of the 2017 ALDS versus Cleveland. Which two other Yankees have also had multi-home run games in the ALDS? This is not easy. But it is not in the far distant past. Don Mattingly? No. No? Hmm. I uh, thought he did in 95. Hmm. You are, oh, buzzer. Time has run out. You were close. You were in the time zone, mm -hmm. timeline. Answer Bernie Williams, 1950, 1995, 96, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Raul Ibanez in 2012. Oh, against like, Baltimore. Again, yes. I got I, I got a listen to those 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 things that are saying I would have gotten I should have just said Bernie. Just got to start talking. Right. <laughs> yeah. Which is usually not my problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Bernie you know, Williams is one of those answers when you really don't know, like baseball trivia in general, say Stan Musial if you don't know. You know, Bernie's right. kind of the answer that the Yankees version of that. Right. Question nine of round one. Reggie Jackson played with four different Hall of Fame teammates during his Yankees career. Another Reggie question. Reggie played with four different Hall of Fame teammates during his Yankees career. Can you name two of the four? Catfish Hunter. Um, Catfish Hunter and Goose Gossage. Yeah. yeah. Well done. I piggyback well done, on you there, Jeff. Sorry. Well done, man. Gaylord Perry and Dave oh, Linfield, yeah. the others. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Question 10. Giancarlo Stanton became the second player ever to be traded after hitting at least 50 homers the previous season. Who was the other? Oh, uh, uh, Greg Vaughn. Yes, excellent work. Greg Vaughn, 50 homers for San Diego in 98 and traded to Cincinnati. Okay, guys, we are tied at two. After round one, we are about to enter the lightning round. We have one minute total to get in as many of these five questions as we can. Correct answers, here they come. I can feel it. Ready? Okay. Start the clock. What year did the team take on the name Yankees? 1913. Excellent. Which Yankees outfielder hit a walk-off home run in extras during game three of the 1999 World Series? Bernie Williams. Nope. Five, four, three. Shane Spencer. One. No, Chad, Chad Curtis. Curtis. Chad, Chad Curtis. Curtis. Mm -hmm. I will refer to the judges after the fact, if that counts, and you got it in in time. Okay. Yankees won 6-5, and they went on to sweep the Braves. 
Who was Yankees captain from 1976 to 1979? Thurman Munson. Thurman Munson. <laughs> Who was the first Yankee rookie to win the home run derby? Aaron Judge. Uh, Aaron Judge. What team did Babe Ruth, final question, hit his first career, excuse me, what team did Babe Ruth hit his first career home run against? New York Yankees. Yankees. Okay. I will now refer to the judges. What is the final tally? I'd say that's pretty even, don't you think? It's pretty close. Very even. Yeah. Gentlemen, after referring with the judges, I have the final tally. Brian Richards, winner of the lightning round, three points to two after a 2-2 opening round, which means, Brian Richards, you are the winner with an overall victory it. number of five to Jeff's four. Brian Richards, our champion. Great Thank job, you. Brian. That was very that competitive. Was close and that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. I had a great competition. Oh, my you, gosh. That was, those were crazy hard questions. We were going to have a – They uh, sure were, absolutely. We're going to have a, a powwow of my group. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work. It is now time to reveal what you've won, Brian. Ooh. You want to know what that is? I sure do. It is absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is a little funny. Stop bragging it. rights. That's okay. That's I'll take bragging it. Bragging rights. That's bragging, bragging rights right there. Sometimes bragging that's parts. the best thing you can win. Yep. <laughs> Put it in the pocket and walk away with those. I'll Good take stuff. it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for making this a ton of fun. You guys are pros, pros. Thank you very much. It was fun. Bye, guys. Until next time. Be safe.